Hey guys, you are listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number 132, 132, numero 132. Hello, hello. Welcome, muchachos y muchachas. Welcome to the English Made Simple show. My name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net. English Made Simple. .net. And how's it hanging, amigos? Hopefully, we are all feeling amazing today. Yay! Another day, another dollar, as they say. Well, let's just jump straight into today's show. Today, today, amigos, we are going to talk about different food allergies. I want to teach you some new phrases that you can use when you're out... Uh, eating out at a restaurant or out socializing, having dinner with your friends and uh, you happen to be allergic to something, allergic to some type of food. What do you do in that situation? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, be happy. Today we are going to learn some useful phrases to help you out with this. Cool. By the way, guys, I didn't tell you. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I've been on a diet since last week. Yep. Back on the diet. Actually, I am on a seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. <laughs> a bad joke. I know, a bad joke. Again, again, again. Um, all right, I'll try to keep my gibberish to a minimum today. Right. Okay, so speaking of seafood, uh, did you know that some people can be allergic to seafood? Seafood in Spanish uh, would be something like mariscos y pescados. Um, basically, any food we eat from the sea is called seafood. So, yeah, some people are allergic to seafood. Some uh, food allergies in general can be pretty extreme. They can be really serious, like the allergies to peanuts or shellfish. But uh, there are some allergies that are pretty mild, I would say, not too extreme. People uh, who have mild food allergies feel a little bit sick when they eat something they're allergic to. I have a friend who has a mild reaction to wheat. Wheat. That's spelled as W-H-E-A-T. In Spanish, wheat is trigo. Wheat is a grain which is ground to make flour for bread, cakes, pastry and so on. All right, just a side note here. Please don't confuse wheat with weed. W-E-E-D, okay? Completely different thing here. Wheat. We make flour from wheat, okay? <laughs> And we make bread. Right, so no weed. It's wheat with a T. T at the end. Let's not get that confused, all righty? So, back to my friend. My friend gets a mild reaction when she eats food containing wheat. Uh, it makes her feel uncomfortable. It affects her digestion, okay? It makes her feel a bit uncomfortable in her tummy. It's interesting when we go out uh, to a restaurant together because she can't eat half of the stuff on the menu. It's not really fun. Not fun for her, I should say. Uh, she avoids restaurants. My friend is actually intolerant to gluten. She has an allergy to gluten, which means no wheat, no rye or no barley. No bread, actually. No bread. Wow, I can't live without bread. It's so delicious. I actually have a mild intolerance to bread. If I eat too much of it, uh, then it uh, makes me bloated. Then I feel bloated. Bloated is a term used to describe something that's inflated, expanded, swollen or puffed up. Uh, in Spanish, to be bloated or to feel bloated, estar hinchado or sentirse hinchado. Basically, when I'm bloated, I need to wear comfortable pants with elastic. Uh, and every time I eat bread, I need to wear elastic pants. <laughs> no skinny jeans for me. <laughs> Right, that was too much information, Milena. Let's move on. And now it's time for us to get our thinking hats on. Let's put our thinking hats on and learn some useful phrases when talking about allergies. Please use the following phrases when we talk about food allergies. If you want to say 
you're allergic to something, you should say, I am allergic to. I am allergic to. This is the phrase that you need to bear in mind. Remember it. What are you allergic to? I am allergic to peanuts. I am allergic to seafood. Okay? And uh, I am allergic to people with bad attitudes. I cannot tolerate them. Right. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, as my husband says. <laughs> Some common food allergies are... So I mentioned gluten, uh, lactose or dairy, like milk, cream or anything made from cow's milk. Uh, some people are allergic to lactose. Uh, alcohol, some people are allergic to alcohol. Chocolate, yes, I know. Peanuts, some people are allergic to nuts or peanuts. Peanuts, mani in Spanish. I have a friend from Russia who is allergic to alcohol. I guess no vodka for her then. So all for me. I, and another friend of mine is allergic to chocolate. I know. Say what? Chocolate. How could that be? But it turns out uh, she was just lying to me. She was on a diet and she wanted to lose weight. And she got sick of people offering her sweets and chocolates. That she had to make up a white lie. It made her feel better when she could say, Sorry, I am allergic to chocolate. I can't have any... And that's how she managed to lose some weight. Right, I should give up on my seafood diet then. Right, obviously this example was a bit of an exaggeration. Another way you can say that you're allergic to a specific type of food is if you could say, for example, if you were allergic to gluten, you could say, I am gluten intolerant. Or if you're allergic to dairy, you could say, I am lactose intolerant. These are the two most common food intolerances that I hear people have. If you are intolerant to one of these foods and you want to go out and eat at the restaurant, remember to always read the small print on the menu, okay? To check if any meals contain gluten or nuts. Most menus uh, in the restaurants in Australia have this disclaimer for people with allergies. It's usually in small print on the menu. So you just need to check the small print, right? Okay, so another useful term to learn here is to give up on. It's a phrasal verb. When you're allergic to dairy, for example, uh, let's say when you're allergic to lactose, uh, you have to give up on ice cream or you have to give up on cheese or any product that's uh, made from milk. I also have a mild, a very mild intolerance to lactose, uh, but I still eat ice cream because I like it. I don't care about my food intolerance. <laughs> it's delicious and I'm gonna eat it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, amigos. So, just to recap, we learned how to say that we're allergic to something and we learned about different food intolerances. So, that's it, amigos y amigas. Listen up. Just want to share something with you. In uh, just a couple of weeks, I will be moving to another city in Australia. So I'm moving from Melbourne and I'm going to Adelaide. Yay! Not really yay. Uh, so I will try not to miss an episode. But if I do, it's because I will be driving from Melbourne to Adelaide. Yep, I'm going to drive. Crazy, I know. It's an eight hour drive. Uh, so that's going to happen in a couple of weeks. Just giving you a heads up in case I miss an episode. But once I'm there, uh, we'll be back to normal. We'll be back to our normal schedule. Radio. So next week, amigos, I will cover some useful vocabulary that you need to know when moving houses or relocating to another country. Okay, so that, that's going to be quite useful. Uh, so if you've enjoyed today's episode, please share it with your friends. Thanks for listening, amigos y amigas. You've been an amazing audience, as is the case every week. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima.